I'm here today at Boddington Reservoir in Northamptonshire and today I'm fishing for some big carp on the method feeder using the new Drennan pop-up hook baits. I'd just like to take a moment and show you the new bait range. We have five new baits in the range, all of them being of a fruity fish flavour. So not an overpowering fish meal, but it's got a nice fruit punch to it as well. So it works really nice. The colours we've gone for is an orange, a pink, a yellow, a black, and the famous white boily. The first two uh, are an eight and a 10 mil conventional round boily. So they work really nice. The next two in the range, again, same colours, same flavours, but we've gone for a dumbbell. So eight and 10 mil, but they're a nice barrel shape. So they look, uh, to me, more like a pellet. So if I'll just show you, they work really nice with a pellet band. So today, that's what I've opted for. Because a lot of fisheries these days, it's all about pellets. So I think it simulates a pellet more. So I've opted for that today in an eight mil. And then also, uh, something what I haven't chose to use today, but we've done an F1 dumbbell. So for the smaller venues, for F1 fishing, again, it looks more like a pellet. So that is a real nice addition to the range. And they work really nice. I'd just like to show you how I hook the baits. Like I said, today I'm using a dumbbell. So I use a conventional pellet band using a stretcher to go over the barrel of the, of the dumbbell. Holds on really nice. And as you can see, the bait sits on it really well. And that's important. So that's my option for today. But the other options are with the boilies, uh, they drill really nice. So you can use a push stop. Go straight through it, uh, quick and easy. Just another way of doing it. And when time is of the essence, the other option I use is the bayonet. You're a little bit limited with it because it's only really good for hard baits like dumbbells and boilies uh, when sometimes I might want to use meat and corn. But for speed, it's really good. As you can see on my hook length, I've got uh, a number eight shot. And that's all about balancing the bait because obviously these are very buoyant. Um, it's how far do you want to sit it up from the bottom. So I'm going to reel in now and I've brought a tank of water with me, so I'm just going to show you how I balance the baits. I'm at the top of my peg now, and I've brought this little tank along with me just to show you when I'm talking about balancing the baits, uh, how I exactly do it. Usually, I'll just offer it down the edge of the peg, but obviously, I want to show you, so I'm going to use this little tank. When I'm using the shot, I'll use a number eight shot to do it, because it's kinder to the line, and you can slide it up and down. Because when you're using a pop-up, it allows you to fish at different depths. So, a number eight shot, I find perfect. So, if I just offer the rig I'm using today, that's a number eight dumbbell. As you can see, the water's slightly murky, so it shows you how bright it is and how it's popping up there. It's critically balanced. So if, let's say it's really toey and really windy, okay, I might just shorten it. So if I just show you this here, I'll just short slide the shot down. And if I drop that in, I can have that then closer to the dinner plate, I'll call it, closer to the method feeder. So it's not wafting about quite so much. Where this here is a 10 mil, so if I want to use a bigger bait, this actually takes two number eights, but I'm sitting that higher off. So it, it's variable, it, it allows you to change through the day. So even if you want to go onto a bottom bait, you can slide your shot all the way up to the top and just use a normal bottom bait. So it gives you lots of options. And as you can see, with the colours I've got there, they are really nice and bright. So it's like a flag to the fish. And that's why I'd use a pop-up. You know, it stands out, it's bright, so you know it works really well but i'm going to try and catch a few for more fish now so i hope these work well for you as they have for me